Hey guys, how's it going? This Helpful Lockpicker here, and in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick open one of these really cool American Lock 1100 series padlocks, but I'm going to combine that with using this Multi-Pick Elite 23-piece Christina Palmer pick set, and what I'm going to do is we're going to see how well it can open one up. What I want to ultimately do is pick open some of my locks and just show you how I can get into all these various locks with this set. It'll give me a good reason to pick some of my older locks. It'll give you a good catalog to see what this set's able to do. Typically on American locks, I like to just use a short hook. One of my favorite picks is the Peterson Gemin 18,000s, but anything from 25,000s to 18,000s should do pretty well. So I'm going to use this pick right here, and I believe all of their picks are 0.6 millimeters thick, which this one does have written on it right here. And then what I like to do additionally is I like to use a top of the keyway tensioner that's about 50 thousandths of an inch thick. So what I'm going to do is use this one right here, which is going to be 1.3 millimeters thick. One thing you might consider doing is using the one that's a little bit longer because the keyway is a little recessed on American locks, but I don't think I will need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this lock up in the vise. Then we're going to pick it open and just see what it takes. I just really enjoy opening up American locks. I am a little bit rusty on picking. I haven't been as active as I'd like to be. So I'm going to see how long it takes. Typically American locks take me about a minute or so when I'm in practice. So let's see what it takes right now. So we're going to take a look at the key first. It's going to be code 74423. It's going to open this lock up very well. It's going to have that really long key pin in the front, so we'll see how that plays into getting the lock open. And let's try to open this up right now. So I'm just going to use the standard hook from the set with the 1.3 millimeter standard top of the keyway tensioner. We're going to pick it open right now. So I typically like to start in the back of the lock, just do some light tension and just see. So I've got a little click on 5, a little click on 4, a little movement on the core, 3, couple of clicks on two, another click on two, let's see, one, two, three, another click on four, a little bit more movement, five, that may have been a little bit of counter rotation, let's see, one, two, a couple more clicks, three, four, I just like to just lightly graze the pens. This lifts in them little by little because they're so easy to overset, which is really cool about American locks is because they come standard with those serrated key pens. Is that four? It's binding up here. Let's see. Let's make sure nothing else is in the way. So we got one, two, three, four, five. That was four, click. Three, I just grazed. Got a couple more clicks out of it. One, two, three, four, and that opened us up. So that wasn't too bad, definitely rusty, but let's just get this lock apart quickly so we can see. So it's been a little bit of time since I've picked a lock. It's been a little bit of time since I've really taken one apart. So this is gonna be fun just to do it with you guys right now. But I just want to say that that was a pretty good pick. I want to say that the short hook certainly did the job. And I believe this one's 0 0.6 millimeters thick. The top of the keyway tensioner, 1.3 millimeters, did a great job. And that really was helpful to open the lock. I sort of felt like I might like one that was a little bit thicker. As you can tell, you can get that little bit of digging into your finger. And then on top of that, um, I like to use the thickest pick that I can use without having the feedback get dampened just because I just feel like I don't like it when they get flimsy. So with all American locks we're going to go ahead and just take out the Phillips head screw. And we're going to dump that. If anyone wants to check out this lab tray, I believe I do have it linked in the description, or you can always ask me where to get one. They are um, really cool, it's a nice piece of wood. I like that it's not going to reflect too much, and it's going to be always great for taking the locks apart. So we can see you got our cylinder open right here. 
Now with American locks, you always want to bear in mind that the tailpiece end here is going to be on the wrong end. So I usually like to just lock it back up. Then I'll use the key and turn it the counterclockwise way before taking it apart. Um, that way that we're not going to have any pen shoot out. So now that we got the sir clip off, we can use the key, turn it counterclockwise so that this tailpiece here is going to now cover that gap so we're going to not have anything shoot out. I'm going to use my aluminum follower which I think does a really great job. We're going to push this through and we're going to dump out our pens. So we're going to go one, two, I'm sorry, that one was actually um, from three, it fell out of place. So that's one, this is two, that is three, this is four, and then we got five coming out right now. I might coerce it with the pick just to get it out so it's a little bit quicker here. Let's see if we can just grab five. All right, I'm gonna put the cylinder down. And then I'm going to get my pinning tweezers. And we're gonna pull out the pins. So let's see, we got position one. We have a serrated spool over a serrated key pen. Nice copper spring. Then we're gonna have a regular serrated driver and these should all be just regular copper springs because this lock is just a stock lock I've never done anything with it so I just um, pulled it out of my random carabiner clip of American locks um, years ago um, this was probably maybe 2017 I don't know there was this one day where there was just a real random sell on Amazon where you could buy American locks for almost no money at all so I kinda went a little crazy and bought a lot of them so it just fell out of the position 5 with that serrated spool I'm gonna have my two remaining copper springs and that's not a bad job for having not done one in a while so what we're gonna do is let's just get a close-up so we can all look together here so we have a Position one key pen, serrated key pen over serrated spool, copper spring. Position two, a slightly shorter serrated key pen over a serrated pen over a copper spring. And then we're going to have a serrated key pen that's short as well over a serrated driver pen over a copper spring. Then a standard key pen, which is one of the shorter ones over a serrated pen over a copper spring and then a short serrated key pen over a serrated spool over a copper spring. So I want to say that this was a pretty fun lock to work on. I want to say thank you to everyone that checked it out. I want to say that the Christina Palmer multi-pick set is a pretty fun set. I look forward to opening up more locks. I look forward to getting some the rakes going. I want to say that this short hook did a great job coupled with this top of the keyway tensioner. More picks to come. Thank you to Multipick. Thank you to everyone for checking this out. American locks are fun. Really enjoy them. So I want to say thank you to everyone for checking this out. If you have any questions or suggestions, anything at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out. Thank you for your support, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.